Hey guys, Joe here. Uh, this is Christmas with Elvis, Volume 3. Hopefully you'll go back and you'll see Part 1 and Part 2. If you like my videos, please uh, hit subscribe. So let's get into this. The uh, record I just showed you is a very well-known record put out by Pickwick. It was absolutely everywhere. It's a budget album. Pickwick had a license a license agreement with RCA to be able to be able to put these out. Like I said, they were everywhere. If there was a budget box in a store that you walked into, this was in there during uh, during the holiday season. So up at the top, it's got Pickwick and uh, matrix number, candom here, C A S. Two four seven eight stereo. Nice cover. A little holly down here. And here is the back. Now, what's interesting about this album is there's uh, several backs. As you can see, there's white and black here, and that's about it. It's got Flaming Star, Let's Be Friends, and Almost in Love album on the side with all their tracks being shown. This came. This one came out in 1970. Printed in the U.S., of course. Okay, this next one here was put out in 1976, and as you can see, there's a there's a change here. They put some holly in here. I'm surprised they didn't make it a color. Uh, but they didn't. Now this one is the one, yeah, that was uh, distributed in Canada, uh, but it is considered a uh, American release, so you will find this in the Osborne books. Now this one came out in uh, '76. This is a uh, harder back to find. But they're out there. You can find them. eBay's got them. And it's, as you can see, all green. Is that, it's much more brighter than the other. They should have started off with this. And that's uh, another Pickwick. Now this one is an RCA release. came out in 1986. Okay, uh, this nipper up there and special products. And uh, the candom uh, matrix number is there. You can't see because of the, of the sticker. But if you look at the back, it's uh, completely changed. As you can see, special music up at the top. Uh, distributed by special music uh, from New Jersey and a bunch of other stuff down here. So there you go. They all have the same old... Uh, tracks uh, blue christmas silent night white christmas christmas santa claus is back in town i'll be home for christmas if every day was like christmas here comes santa claus oh little town of bethlehem santa bring my baby back to me mom will like the roses i have no idea why okay and this next one is a the a pickwick pack this came out in 1978. As you can see, the, the Pickwick album of uh, Elvis's Christmas is in there. This has got seven individual Elvis albums in it. It's, for, it's very hard to find. Uh, I'm sure there's a one or two on eBay here and there, but not a lot. The value of this is uh, $150 as per the Osborne book. It's got like an OBI uh, slip here of cardboard. And uh, here's the back. In this Pickwick pack with the uh, Christmas album, is it? In it is the Elvis Christmas album, Mahalo from Elvis, Burning Love, and Hits from His Movies, Volume 2, You'll Never Walk Alone. I Got Lucky and Separate Ways, and Elvis Sings Hits from His Movies, Volume 1. There you go. So, <laughs> there you go. 
Now let's do a couple of other Christmas things here. What is this? Okay, in the early uh, 2000s, if you uh, gave money to St. Jude like Elvis did, uh, Elvis gave every year to St. Jude. So in the early 2000s, when I was given money to St. Jude, Graceland would send it back this uh, beautiful postcard. I don't know if they do it anymore, but it, it's a beautiful postcard. And it says, Happy Holidays from uh, Graceland. I just pulled it, a bunch of stuff out for you. Okay, this next one is... Sheet music of the holly leaves and Christmas trees. Uh, Red West put it out and uh, Glenn Spreen. It was uh, sold for 95 cents. I'm sure they're, they're, they cost a lot more now, so here you go. As you can see, let me see here. It's a Christmas card. They use the same front many times. This is a, I won't, it won't seem like Christmas without you. Okay, words and music by J.A. Uh, I'm Balthorpe. Um, I'm sure I have that right and butchered that poor man's name. Still 95 cents. And as you can see, they kept using the uh, same cover. And they did it again. I'll be home on Christmas Day, written by my buddy Michael Jarrett. And on the back here, uh, he wrote out the words for me. There it is, son, at the bottom. It's a strange story for, the, for this son. He said he was uh, very depressed. Uh, he had to move out of his uh, apartment. He was sitting in the window, and he didn't know what to do. He was away from his family. He said he smoked a joint. And he sat down, and he wrote, I'll be home on Christmas Day. So there you go. Cool story. Okay, this next one is, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I showed you this uh, at all, so from 1970s, it's a larger uh, postcard, and it's just a postcard on the back, not a bad postcard. So, okay guys, that's it for at least this one, I'm going to see if I can't do one more, you know, pull some CDs and that out, so, uh, uh, you all take care, take care of yourself, and don't forget to TZB for EAP.